about Deb Evans here, uh, enrolled agent and certified financial planner with some tax tips for you. Uh, today we're going to be talking kids and taxes, children and taxes. Um, before we do that, however, let's talk about last tax season um, briefly. Were you one of the ones who had to wait for months and months and months to receive your, your tax refund? Well, the reason was your return had to be manually processed by a person, and there just aren't that many people available at the IRS to be doing that these days, so it's a problem. Uh, there are millions of tax returns from 2021 that still have not been processed, all right? So why am I mentioning this? Because you're gearing up for the exact same thing to happen this year, um, and the child tax credit is where they're gonna start, okay? So most of the time, tax returns are automatically processed and a human doesn't look at them and you get your refund pretty quickly, right? Within a couple of weeks, if you do direct deposit. Anytime you get out of the loop of automation and have to have a person look at your tax return, then you're gonna hit the slow train, all right? So, what tripped us up last year were the earned income um, payment, the, uh, the, the COVID payments uh, that people got, the stimulus payments that we got. Um, if your number did not, if the number you said you received did not match up to the number the IRS thought you received, then you got pulled out of the loop for a, um, a hand, for a person to look at it by hand. If you had gotten uh, an employment in, in, um, income, you might have gotten pulled out of the stack. So this year we have a couple of things that are gonna cause a problem. The first is we did have a third stimulus payment that went through at the beginning of last year. So you will have to tell what you got and reconcile it with what you should have gotten on the tax return. Now, the IRS is sending out letters now uh, telling you what they think you got, <laughs> okay? So if the number in your tax return matches what they think you got, then you're good to go. But if it's not, and it very well might not be, then we need to take an extra step and it's going to take longer to process. The child tax credit is something that's been around for a long time. The child tax credit was roughly $2,000. Um, there was a cap on how many children you could have. There's income caps on it. But you, when you filed your tax return, you basically got $2,000 per kid taken off of the tax that you owed. So this equaled a pretty good um, refund for a lot of people. So last year they started this advanced child tax credit and they increased the amount of the credit um, pretty significantly. They took away the cap on the number of children. The cap on income is still there. Um, and they gave you half of it last year. So the, in the summer, they started sending these monthly advanced child tax credits to clients. So ideally, <laughs> ideally, um, we put that on your tax return and the tax return says, oh, you're going to get, you know, uh, $6,000 in child tax credits. Oh, you already received $3,000. Okay. So now you're going to get $3,000 on your tax return refund. All right. Um, so that's ideal. <laughs> now what's actually happening is um, a lot of people didn't get what they were supposed to get. So I have clients who said, oh, yeah, I got the first two payments and then nothing else ever again. Um, some people, uh, the wife opted out, but the husband didn't opt out. So he still got his, his payments. It was, it was quite a, a disaster. Um, and so, again, they're sending out letters this month um, to people who receive the child tax credit. And it says, you, we had this many children and we paid you this much money. Now, it was based on the prior year's tax return. So if there's a new baby popped up, it's not going to be on there, right? Um, now, when you file a tax return, you claim the new baby and there's extra um, tax credit applied. Now, here's the problem. The letter that's being sent out that we're supposed to go by when we do your tax return, uh, they admitted that a lot of them are wrong. <laughs> and if the IRS admits they're wrong, it means there's a lot of them that are wrong. So to save time... You're going to want your tax return to match up to the letter. Well, if the letter's wrong, it's probably wrong in the IRS as well. Okay, um, but that's the way it's supposed to work. So if you if everything matches up, then you um, it goes stays on the automated path, and you get your refund quicker. But 
if it's wrong, it's wrong, right? We have to, you, you don't want it to be wrong. Um, and so if we try to do it the correct way, just be prepared. It's going to put your tax return on a slow train, okay? Um, now, the letter. The letter, people know the letter's wrong because they look at their checking accounts and see how much money went into their bank from the IRS, right? Okay, so here's what you can do. Go to the IRS and get a transcript of your account. This shows how much money the IRS thinks you got. And that hopefully will match up with what you have. And hopefully that's the number we can use on the tax return. All right. If it doesn't, if the transcript doesn't match and the letter doesn't match, and you can show me your bank statements and say, look, this is what I got. Um, then there, we can trace payments. We can do different things to try to take care of it. Just be aware it's going to take a while. All right, it's gonna take a while. Um, so getting a transcript on the IRS. I have a post um, from a few days ago that talks about this. The IRS has started a new um, a new identification program. It's actually, it's, it's, it seems to be for, for more stuff. It's called ID.me and the IRS is using it. I think it's used by a lot of government agencies to identify yourself. And I, I signed up for it, it's pretty easy. So you have to um, take a picture of your driver's license, okay? And then you take a selfie. And it's not a selfie, you're not gonna see your face, but they use the selfie to outline your it's facial recognition software is what it is. So um, if you're like my husband, <laughs> you don't like that idea. But <laughs> it's, it's how they're identifying that the right person is getting information from the IRS, right? You don't want to, you don't want somebody who does shouldn't be getting information from your account, getting information from your account. Now, as an enrolled agent, I am able to represent taxpayers. So in an ideal world, <laughs> I would be able to go in and get information for you. However, in order to do that, I have to have a power of attorney from you. Now, this is a limited power of attorney that only applies to the tax return, okay? Um, so the problem with that is those have to be hand processed and it's taking weeks and weeks and weeks to get those through. <laughs> so, so it's not really the best, best um, idea for that. Um, so in an ideal world, I would be able to hop on and do this for you. But in the sake of time, I'm going to ask you to do it yourself. So if you look for that post for the ID.me, it tells you how to go about getting yourself an account. Do it now. Don't wait. Um, because the more people trying to do it, the more likely it's going to crash. So go ahead and get your identification uh, confirmed through ID.me. And then go into your IRS account and print out your transcript for 2021. And it will show what payments the IRS sent you, what payments you made to the IRS. It's gonna cover all your dealings with the IRS, okay? And then we'll be able to match it up and see um, it, the correct information. And then we can decide, and if it's not correct, we can decide from there where to go. But like I said, if you got a child tax credit and, and a lot, there's a lot of people with kids, um, then this is going to be a, a, a very um, comp more complicated than it should be process. Okay. Um, now, if you got the advanced child tax credit and you end up having made more money and you, you're above the cutoff, um, then they are likely going to want that money back. <laughs> So I hope you didn't spend it all. I tried to warn people this summer. Um, so you, but that's, that's how it is. Now, if you got the money and you shouldn't have had the money, but you're below a certain income, they're saying that you might not have to pay it back. Okay. So we're still waiting for guidance from the IRS for that. We're still trying to figure out what we're going to do um, with that. Um, another issue that I've, several of my clients have told me about is, couples that, that swap the kids each year, right? Um, they're divorced. Dad takes a child tax credit this year. Mom takes it the next year. Dad takes it. Now, the child tax credit for 2021, which is what we're talking about, was based on 2020. So if you are a swapper, then whoever had the kids in 2020 got the tax credit for 21, okay? Which is wrong. They shouldn't have got it. Now, a lot of my clients um, in this situation took matters upon themselves, which seemed perfectly logical at the time. And the spouse gave the money to the person who should have it. 
which is if you're divorced, that's that's how we want to be. That's very good. Um, or I have one family that split the money. You know, hey, here's money. Let's split it. Um, now here's the problem. Dad's gonna let's see. Dad, see, Dad had him in 2020. Dad got the tax credit. He gave it to mom, who go, who actually should have it for 2021. She received nothing from the IRS. All right. Now, when Dad files his tax return and doesn't claim a child. The IRS is going to say, hmm, but you got all this money. And they don't know or care that he gave it to mom. They just know he wasn't supposed to have it. And his tax return is going to show he has to pay it back unless he's under that income threshold. All right. So this could be a big problem. The IRS knows it's a problem, but they have not yet told us what we're going to do about it. So um, stay tuned for that. Just be prepared if you have kids. This tax season is going to be super fun uh, and super lengthy, just like the last couple. But I'm here for you. I'm here to, to help you understand. I'm here to help you find your way through all the muck of the IRS and, and our government in general. And um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments and I will try to help you as much as I can. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye.